Good morning, everybody. This is Dr. Anita. You're riding in the car with the Cairo. So uh, this last week has been fun in the practice because our weather is finally getting to be beautiful and people are stepping out of their houses and they're breathing freely, which is a beautiful thing. But they're getting out there and starting to get involved in their yard work. So today's talk is going to be regarding yard work safety, right? So we all want to go out and clean up the weeds. I can't believe how much weeds are growing right now. It's insane how much is growing right now, but it is. So let's talk about some of the things that we do. First of all, when we're out there weeding, we are bent over for extended periods of time because that's the one day or the few hours that we have available, right, to get out there and yank those weeds. So we get stuck in that bend, bent over or flexed forward position, and it puts an incredible amount of stress on our spine, which affects our nervous system, which affects every function in our body. So after we do that for a couple hours, what happens is we can't stand up straight and we have to get up slowly. And then later on, we pay such a price. So what I'm saying to you guys is this. I get that you want to get that stuff done. I did as well. I've been trying to do it both at the office as well as at my home. And we've got to be really conscious of how long we stay in that bent over position. So you got to pay attention to that. You've got to take water breaks because you've got to really make sure you're hydrated because let's face it, if our body is not hydrated, those muscles are not going to be able to relax. Those cells are going to shrivel up and that's going to create more distress in our bodies, right? Another thing is we should warm up our bodies. What about getting out there and, um, you know, getting your body warmed up before you actually start? Maybe go for a walk with the dog or your kids or your spouse or whatever. Short walk just to get the body moving and warmed up before you go out there and bend over for a couple hours on and off throughout that beautiful day to take care of the weeds or to start cultivating the garden and planting all those plants. Now, hopefully we can get out there and plant our vegetable plants without worrying about overnight them getting frostbitten and dying on us, right? The other thing I saw uh, over the last week was people out there doing a lot of physical labor, not just with the weeding, but they're moving rocks and they're building, you know, uh, platforms around their gardens to keep the, the critters out, like the bunnies who eat all the flowers on your zucchini or all the flowers on your uh, cucumber plant. It's a problem with mine. I, I keep my plants in in up on a deck so it's raised up. And as soon as my cucumber plants start to make flowers, um, the baby bunnies show up in the wee hours of the morning and they chomp all the flowers. So all there is is a vine left and no cucumbers. They don't mess with my tomato plants. I don't have deer in my backyard because I'm on the water, but I don't get any cucumbers out of my garden because of the bunny rabbits. And I don't know, they they jump up, they hop up, they climb on each other's backs. I don't know what they do, but they figured out how to get in and around and up and eat my flowers. So there's nothing I can do with regards to growing a zucchini or a cucumber because it just doesn't happen. When you're doing a lot of physical labor, if you're building um, an area where your garden's going to be um, uh, and you're you're moving rocks uh, a couple guys came in saying they were moving a bunch of heavy rocks in a wheelbarrow man that will jack your back up something crazy you will definitely feel that burning in your lower back so what i suggest to you is wear a low back support one of those velcro supports supporting your lower back you can get them um, at Home Depot for like 30 bucks or something. It's good to have anytime you do any kind of extraordinarily heavy lifting uh, or repetitive heavy lifting. And you strap in during that time so that when you are uh, loading the rocks and then lifting the wheelbarrow, the stress is dispersed through that support versus just being dispersed in your lower back muscles. And that will protect your lower back from uh, blowing your disc out because adding the stress of not only being bent over lifting and twisting and lifting and twisting and lifting and twisting but then the added stress of the weight forward on your spine because you have to flex forward when you're carrying the wheelbarrow and pushing the wheelbarrow it puts an incredible amount of distress on your discs your discs can blow out the back portion of your spine they can herniate uh putting in 
extreme pressure on the nerves going down your butt into your legs. You can wind up with severe sciatica. Um, you can wind up not being able to stand upright. Um, that could lay you up for days. And we want to avoid that any way we can just by using our noggin a little bit, knowing that we're going to go out and do some of this heavy-duty exercise stuff that is not technically exercise, but it is. And we want to protect ourselves as best we can. The other thing is with supports, you also want to use gloves to protect your hands. I've had a number of women coming in who've been using their loppers and uh, they forgot to wear the gloves the first day because they just forgot. And so they got all these lacerations going up and down their hands um, because they didn't protect their hands or their arms. Um, you know, so gloves make sense, right? So go to the dollar store and get yourself a pair of gloves. Um, and use gloves to protect your hands when you're in those bushes. The other thing with regards to the bushes, this one's real important, has nothing to do with chiropractic, but it's a common sense thing. Bees love to make nests in bushes, so be really careful when you're poking around in your bush. Maybe poke the lopper in there before you start lopping around and cutting things because you stick your face in there, you're going to get stung. Not a pleasant thing if there's a little nest in there. Um, they can be very aggressive. Ask me how I know. Had bushes in front of my house. Got stung. I took those darn bushes down because those yellow jackets love to make nests in the bushes outside the front of my door. And I didn't dig when I walked out that they would be all over the place. So got rid of that bush because I didn't like that. The other thing is ticks. We know the devastating effects of what Lyme's disease can do. Uh, I have a number of patients who've been struggling with Lyme's disease for many, many, many years. It creates all kinds of autoimmune symptomatology. It's horrific, 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 those little suckers, right? So strong suggestion, if you're going to go in there and dig in and lop off in the bushes area, man, wear long sleeves, wear some gloves. Um, if you're going along the bush line, along uh, the woods, if you have woods, tuck your your pants into your socks so those little critters can't crawl up your legs. Um, get out there early in the morning or in the early evening when it's cooler out versus in the heat of day so that you're protected. Wear long sleeves temporarily just to get that done so that you're protecting yourselves. Put a hat on. A lot of this is common sense, but when we get into that zone of trying to trying to get out there and do what we got to do, we don't even think common sense. It's like, oh, great. I'm off today. I'm, I'm going to run outside and do what I got to do, right? The other thing is if you're going to be bent over doing the weeds, um, how about buying a little knee pad cushion? that you can get at Home Depot um, or, or uh, I don't know if the dollar store sells it, but I know Home Depot sells these pads that you can kneel on or squat on or get a little mini uh, bench that you can sit on so you're not bent over at the waist, which is going to cripple you. When you bend over at the base, that mechanic pushes the disc to the back. Well, guess where your nerves come out? They come out the back of your spine. When your nerves come out the back of your spine and you push that disc backward, it puts incredible amount of distress on those nerves. And then when you go to get upright, the disc is sitting in the back. It's compressing on that nerve. You go to get up and you get that sharp stabbing dagger pain. It takes your breath away, right? And then you're uh, having to run into the chiropractor again, even though you just had your adjustment. So use some common sense. Take breaks. Set a timer. I know you got your phone near you. We all have our phones around us. We know. We don't want to miss that call, whatever that call is, or that message. Silly, but that's how we live our lives today. So set a timer. 30, 40 minutes, set a timer. Timer goes off. Get up. Straighten up. Walk around. Go take a bathroom break and drink a bottle of water. Hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. It's not hot yet. You should be drinking Upwards of a gallon of water a day, that's 64 ounces. If you can take in more, they, some, some people that I've read say you should take in 50% in ounces of your body weight. It's a hell of a lot of water. I say at least get in a gallon a day. If you can get in a gallon a day, I've recently started doing that. It's amazing, amazing how your body gets used to that amount of water. 
Yeah, you do go to the bathroom in the beginning. You got to pee a whole lot. But then your bladder gets used to holding that water so that you don't have to pee like every second, like right after you drink. And the reality is when your cells are hydrated, they're working at their maximum capacity to do what they're designed to do. It allows your body to be at its best. So this is yard work safety that we're talking about today. You've been riding in the car with the Cairo. I hope I gave you some logical reminders. I needed them as well. Um, to get out there, do your yard work, enjoy yourself, get some vitamin D. It's wonderful to get out there and get your vitamin D therapy naturally, but use safety. And after you're done doing your yard work, make sure you go and get to your chiropractor that day or the very next day to get your spine and nervous system checked to make sure that your body's working in its very best because sometimes when we're doing that yard work, it jacks our backs up and we need to make sure we tune ourselves up so that we don't have any issues with our body working at its best. All right. So I hope this was a great talk. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. It is glorious out. Enjoy the weather. Enjoy getting your yards beautified. Make sure you go see your chiropractor on a regular basis to keep your body working at its best. This is Dr. Anita with Mylon Family Chiropractic Center. Look forward to seeing you on the next ride. Have a fabulous day.